We will learn to taxi to an aircraft carrier catapult and take off in this lesson. In a previous lesson, we learned how to start up the Hornet. When starting up the Hornet on a carrier, the only significant difference will be that you will set the INS switch to CV for aircraft carrier instead of ground during the inertial navigation system alignment. So, we will just focus on the taxi and take off from the carrier in this lesson. Looking out of the cockpit to the right is the bow of the aircraft carrier, and catapults 1 to the right and catapult 2 to the left are located here. Looking ahead and bit to our left are the waste catapults of number 3 and 4. In this lesson, we will taxi to, get hooked up to, and take off from catapult 2. As you may have noticed, catapult 1 is currently blocked by parked aircraft. Before taxiing forward, we will need to set our trim based on our total aircraft weight. You can find this on the checklist page from the support menu. It's located on the ACWT line. As you can see, our bird weighs just 46,600 and change. If below 44,000 pounds, set 16 degrees of stab trim. If between 44 and 49,000 pounds, set trim to 17 degrees. If over 49,000 pounds, set trim to 19 degrees and afterburners are required for takeoff. So, go to the FCS page on the support menu and use the trim hat or right control period to increase stab trim to 17. When set, press spacebar to continue. Running from the bottom on the checklist page, arm the ejection seat, check that nose wheel steering is on, no warning lights, hook is up, flaps are set to half, trim set to the total aircraft weight, wings match wing fold handle, oxygen on, brakes off, launch bar up, anti-skid off, master arm off, from the MPCD, select WTPT and cycle to waypoint 1. Countermeasures off. Radar altimeter to 40 feet. Canopy closed. Master external light switch aft. When all set, press spacebar to continue.
Directly to our right is a large yellow rectangle painted on the deck. This is the Jet Blast Deflector, or JBD, for Catapult 2. This will redirect our engine exhaust once we power up for takeoff. Normally, you will spread your wings when positioned behind the JBD, but before you taxi over it to the Catapult shuttle. Because we are already nearly behind the JBD for Catapult 2, spread the wings using the wing fold handle by your right knee, or press right shift and right control O. Five seconds after the wings are fully spread, stow the handle with the O key. When they are down and the wing fold handle matches the wing position, press spacebar. Before taxiing forward, hold down the nose wheel steering button or press S. This will keep the nose wheel steering in high gain and allow us to make tighter turns on a crowded deck. This is indicated as NWS high on the HUD. If you have the wings folded, you do not need to hold down the nose wheel steering button to enable NWS high. Slowly increase the throttle while inputting full right rudder. Make sure you are in nose wheel steering high to make the very sharp turn to catapult 2 to your right. As you taxi over the JBD, align the nose of the aircraft straight down the catapult track. Once aligned directly down the catapult track, slowly and carefully roll forward until the nose wheel is just behind the catapult shuttle. The catapult shuttle is attached to the catapult and is used to launch you down the catapult track. To get the nose just behind the shuttle, you can either use the F2 external view or align the catapult shuttle off catapult 1 to be directly off to your right. Press spacebar when aligned on the catapult and the nose wheel is just behind the catapult 2 shuttle. The launch bar on the nose wheel landing gear strut will connect the aircraft to the catapult shuttle. Lower the launch bar by left clicking on the switch by your left knee labeled launch bar. With the launch bar down, press U to better align the aircraft on the catapult track and shuttle and attach the hold back. This will also raise the JBD behind you. You can use external F2 view to confirm that the launch bar is attached. Once attached, Move the launch bar switch to the raised position. Press space bar. You're now ready for the cat shot. Increase throttles to military power. Wipe the controls by inputting full pitch and roll on the stick and full rudder deflections on the rudder. When ready, go to full power and initiate the catapult stroke.
airborne. Roll to the right and quickly raise your landing gear and flaps and accelerate to 300 knots. When taking off from cats 1 and 2, you will perform a starboard clearing turn. And when launching from the waste cats, you will perform a port clearing turn. Once you've turned 20 degrees from the carrier bearing, turn back to parallel the carrier's bearing and keep your altitude below 500 feet until 7 miles from the carrier. This is to keep you out of the way of returning traffic. Press escape to conclude this lesson. Check gear, check gear. 